researchers here in the Pacific Northwest are working on a new way to fuel cars, trucks, even airplanes. They're doing it using seaweed. KGW's environmental reporter Keely Chalmers talked with the agency in charge, and they're finding out the tricky part of this is actually getting enough seaweed to make the fuel. Yeah, that's true. You know, it's something some have tried in the past to do and failed, but the researchers here have come up with an innovative way to grow, track, and harvest the seaweed by basically planting it and then letting it go. We have cars and trucks that run on ethanol, biodiesel, and of course electricity. But there's another green energy source scientists hope will one day power our vehicles. It's one you'll find a lot of out in the ocean. More than 70% of our planet is covered by the ocean. Um, and if we grow seaweed for biofuel in the ocean, we're not competing with land and fresh water that we need to drink and to grow food for human consumption. So researchers at the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory in Washington have come up with a plan to turn seaweed into biofuel. Of course, to do that, they first have to grow the seaweed, a lot of it. It's something scientists have tried and failed to do in the past. Previously, our country has tried growing uh, seaweed on anchored systems, but there have been large storms that have tangled up the lines and ended up resulting in us losing the seaweed. So instead of an anchored seaweed farm, the researchers are building a free floating one. This rendering shows us what it would look like. Seaweed seedlings would be attached to a three mile long carbon fiber line system. That system would be attached to buoys and float freely out on the open ocean. It would be equipped with GPS so that after months of floating from Washington down to California, crews could locate the kelp and harvest it. Ocean experts at Oregon State University will test a prototype of the system at the school's famed Wave Lab and help determine how things like waves, storm surges, even currents affect it. No doubt a big project that could result in some pretty big changes. It's kind of far out idea, but if they work, they have the potential to absolutely change the way we uh, make or consume energy. Now the Department of Energy is funding this project. It maintains the United States could produce enough seaweed to meet about 10% of our annual transportation energy needs. Mm. Back to you. Keely, thanks.